What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Shane and welcome to another episode here on 5 Star Cars, the car discussion channel here on YouTube where I just give my thoughts to things about what's going on in the car community. On today's episode, it's not going to be a very long one, just a very uh, quick one, only covering three channels. Uh, we're going to cover Goon Squad, uh, Bees for Build and BB. That's, that's all we're going to be covering. Uh, if you are new to the channel guys, please do check out my other videos. As I said, we do just discuss about what's going on in the comments below. Goal for the channel is to hit 2,000 subs by the end of the year. And the other goal is to get a project car for the channel as well. So if you really want to see the channel improve and get a project car, please do smash that subscribe button, even better like button as well. And don't forget to comment below because I do read all your comments and I do respond. And just before we jump into today's quick video as well, guys, just a bit of news to my regular subscribers. We've got some good news. Your boy here has gone away and got a promotion. He's after getting an extra five pounds an hour up to senior level. So if you don't know, guys, I am an IT engineer in my job. And yeah, I'm after getting promoted to senior uh, IT engineer in, in the February. So my pay will go up. Um, so I don't know how much uh, more pay I'm gonna get. Um, so the plan is I wanna give my niece my current car, which is a 2005 three-door Golf. 75 brake horsepower, so that's a fucking beast. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna probably give that car away to her in July. So my plan is to hopefully pray to fucking God that we can get a project car in July. That is basically the path I'm going down at the moment. So that is the update for the channel so far, all right? <laughs> so let's jump into today's video. Uh, straight off the bat, it's gotta be Goon Squad. Uh, so Goon Squad have basically finished, not finished, they repainted their uh, audio rate, uh, the, I can never remember the name, it starts with a D, um, but they've repainted the gloss metallic black. Now, I don't know, guys, I'm still a bit kind of, because it's not finished and I've always seen the bits and pieces sprayed, I, I'm still a bit kind of, I did like the original like satin look on it with the, bro with the bronze wheels. I, I really did like it. So I I'm not too going to judge on the metallic black. Now it does look like it's a very metallically glistening black, which I do like. But fuck it, I mean, if it comes out really nice, you know, it, it, at the end of the day, it's still, uh, you know, a new model uh, or eight. Um, you know, you know they're gonna do something crazy with this, especially if they put on a carbon lip kit. I know they're not cheap, but I just feel, no matter what color you repaint them already, it's gonna come out nice. I just, in my head, I'm just thinking, should they say matte? But I have a feeling when it's finished, it'll change my judgment on it. So let me know in the comments below uh, what you think of the color they've gone for the R8. Um, do you think they should have went a different color, stayed the original, uh, and are you happy they're, you know, what other mods you want them to do with the car as well. Just let me know in the comments below, guys. Next up is going to be B is for Build. So B is for Build have come out with their latest video, basically just going back over what plans are for 2022. It was really good that Chris came out with this video. Um, really enjoyed watching, it was 22 minutes long, just basically highlighting where they started and all the different builds he's been through and where the cars are now. Never realized I never even knew all the other builds. I started watching Bees for Builds when he started doing the GTR. That is when I started watching him. I think it was back in 2016, could have been, or 17. Um, and I just didn't know about all those other builds. Some of them I did, some of them I didn't. Um, but he was outlining where they're going, going, you know, what's happened going forward for 2022. The board is still getting done. Um, they're still working on the Jumpicon. The Burnticon is still going to be getting, I think they're going to be doing more stuff to that as well. I really just can't wait to see the R34 body swap onto the R35 build be finished. Um, and let me know guys in the comments below, what has been your favorite build so far from Bees for Build? I mean, for me, probably the Burnticon or the, the GTR were probably my two favorites from since I've been watching them but there's been so many great ones. I really like the way Kyle's BMW uh, 335i came out with that white body kit as well. That was really, really nice. Um, but, and also what you want to see them modify or see them build in 2022. He did say that they are looking at a bigger shop, which hopefully will happen in 2022. I, I, just, I don't know where he gets all the money from because you know, obviously he wants to make more content, but obviously with him being sick, and then the guy is getting sick as well. Hopefully we see the light at the end of the tunnel and, and things are just gonna explode for Bees for Build. I cannot wait and hopefully they get a new garage soon, a big massive one. 
and that would just oh the amount of bills i'd be watching them in the non-stop so let me know guys in the comments below what you think uh, they should build in 2022 and what has been your favorite build of uh beast or build channel so far since they started next up and last on the list is going to be dd and so dd's latest video the reason i'm bringing it up is because lo and behold another cop video um I, I don't get me wrong i really do like dd's channel title to me was meh like come on it's not the most wanted lamborghini <laughs> in beverly hills like the cops have better things to be doing you know then pulling over dd and, and and making them famous uh, you know that that's the thing now don't get me wrong i i uh damon was very polite to the officer and um, he was pulled over for an excessive loud exhaust which in fairness is it's a gintani exhaust system and a gintani tune you know like beverly hills has really cracked down on excessive uh, loud cars there was reports came in like when you're going down beverly hills in that much of a loud car and it's it's hitting pops and bangs there's going to be probably some really people there's going to be people there that really fucking hate cars <laughs> and it will be like fuck this guy and his lamborghini i'm calling the cops like blah blah blah. it's going to happen damon took it on the chain fair juice him i just feel the only thing i i, I don't like is when rich people because he is rich uh are able to score these tickets that are very very you know nice to the cops and you know they can just pay it. it's good for them it's not the same for a person in a, a piece of shit with a loud exhaust. Like, you know, it's, it, they're going to get it. Um, I just feel like he was over polite, the officer. I, I know probably some people will shoot me in the uh, comments below. But I am, look, I'm, I'm nice to police as well if I, if I know I'm in the wrong. But it's just overly excessive. It just felt like, you know, he got out of a tub of butter and uh, was lacing it, uh, you know, on a cop's ass. Like, it was just it was just too excessive. It was like, he should have said, look, really sorry about that. Thanks for doing what you do. I, like, just keep it low tone. Don't overdo it. Take your ticket, get on with it. It's just, I just don't like when they overdo the, the cop thing sometimes, um, you know, but look, DD do have a great channel. I'm really, I'm really interested to see what they're gonna end up buying in 2022. We do love their LA vlogs. Uh, they are a lot, a lot of fun, don't get me wrong. It's just sometimes I feel like they play up to the camera a bit too much. That's all I want to say. So let me know, guys, what you thought of the episode below in the comments. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you a million if you watched the end. Again, if you're new, just check out the videos that come up here at the end. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And also, like squad, please do keep liking that like button. We will get going in 2022. We have a plan in place. So bear with me, I am trying to get back into making more videos as best I can. I promise it's, it's, it's work in progress to get back to my early days. So thanks a million, stick with the channel. Until the next episode guys, please stay safe, peace out and keep it lit.